Impossible Burger is a meatless burger invented in a Silicon Valley lab that is meant to resemble the actual taste of beef. So how do they do that? Uh, they isolated a globin or a type of protein uh, from a soybean plant. It's very similar uh, in DNA structure to what you would find in beef or even in human blood or, or muscle. And they were able to isolate that and build a burger around that. All right. Here with? Impossible Burger. Impossible Burger, house-made ketchup, pickles, and some lettuce dressed in lemon and olive oil. Looks beautiful. Thanks, Vitaly. I mean, just visually, it looks like an actual burger patty. Correct. The look of it really is pretty similar. It's caramelizing meat on the outside. OK, so I'm going to cut it into it just to take a look at the uh, what it looks like inside. I mean, you'd think if you're eating a burger, it would be you know, pinky inside if it's, you know, medium, cooked medium. So let's take a look. Okay, there's a little bit of pink in there. Um, and here at Paley's Place, they're putting some beautiful grilled onions on top. I'm just gonna take a bite right now while it's still warm and, and, and see what it tastes like. That's interesting. So texturally, it's a lot closer to meat than you would expect to find from a, a vegetarian or vegan burger. But at the same time, it's not quite at where you would expect a beef patty to be. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of eating like a pulled pork sandwich at a at a um, like a barbecue restaurant. Their PR says, you know, it's better for the environment. It uses a quarter of the water that a cow would, you know, to grow. Their press material said uh, it takes 11,000 gallons of water per year to raise a cow. I mean, it's a significant story for us not to pay attention to it. Yeah. Uh, as all of us, especially in this part, are incredibly conscious about sustainability in general, yeah. this really sings true to what the mission in general of the Pacific Northwest is. I think uh, if you love veggie burgers, this is going to be great for you, uh, but it will not replace beef in your heart, I don't think. Well, Silicon Valley, keep at it. Okay. You're not quite there yet, guys. <laughs>